Good morning, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I'll be talking about this powerful cleansing method. Okay, this cleansing method will help open your ways for you, will help protect you from the eyes of the enemies, will help scare evil arrows away from you. Okay, and when the enemy tries to strike you again, it's going back to them. Okay, this uh, cleansing method can help to send evil arrows back to the sender, can help to protect you from the eyes of the enemies. From protecting from the evil plans of the enemies okay and once you start this cleansing method any evil person close to you will run away from you will start avoiding you okay this method is very powerful and once you start it if there is any charm or any spell on your body it's going to neutralize it it's going to spoil that spell okay it's a very simple but very powerful cleansing method okay and the ingredients for this spell or for this cleansing is very very accessible no matter your location okay the first ingredients i have here is prekese that is the english name i had done in yoruba and osakrisa in Igbo. okay this is a herb you can see it i've made videos concerning this particular herb okay you, you can use it to cook your white soup you can use it to cook your uh, uh, pepper soup, your young pepper soup, even a uh, pregnant woman or people that just put to bed, you can use this to flush out old blood from your st uh, from your stomach or from your womb. Okay, if you have fibroid, you can use this ayadan or this uh, prekese to shrink your fibroid. Okay, by boiling it with black pepper and be drinking it first thing in the morning and first thing in the night. By the time you take it for 30 days, you find out that the size of the uh, fibroid will no longer be the way it's supposed to be. Okay, and if you drink it consistently, you see that the fibroid would shrink off completely. Okay, so this is how powerful this particular herbs is. And this herbs is equally uh, used in scary witchcraft activities. It's used to neutralize any witchcraft activities going on in your neighborhood or in your house. Okay, if you're the type that usually wake up with marks on your body, Pounding this thing with shell butter, alligator pepper, and bitter cola, okay? And be using it as your balm, evening balm or night balm. We stop that evil mask, your yeah, evil mark you get on your body when you wake up, okay? If you don't get the mark on your body but you are under witchcraft activities, just divide this thing into four and put in the four places, uh, the four corners of your room. You will never have a witchcraft attack again. If you're the type that always have bad dreams, okay? Putting this thing under your pillow, just cut it and put the pieces under your pillow will help prevent such bad dreams. Okay, using this uh, other than water to take your bath alone scares witchcraft activities away from you. I've made videos concerning this other than you can go to the channel and check. I've made so many videos concerning it. Okay, another ingredient I have here is my bitter cola. Yes, this is a very powerful one again. This bitter cola. It has medical and spiritual uses, okay? You can use this thing to stop cough if you are the type that always have severe coughs. Using this, uh, eating this, uh, this bitter cola can stop that cough completely, okay? If you are the type that always have headache, okay? Pounding this thing and putting in your bathing water will stop that headache, okay? Then for, uh, to prevent snake from entering your house or biting you, Dropping this thing in the four corners of your room or just in your surrounding will scare uh, snakes away from entering your environment, okay? Putting this thing in your pocket can serve as a protection against witchcraft activities, against evil spells, against uh, poison, okay? With physical and spiritual poison. If you're the type that comes from a very uh, wicked village and you want to travel, please just make sure you put this bitter cola in your pocket. You see that even if they keep anything for you, it's not for you. you watch it and nothing will happen to you. If you suspect any kind of food poisoning, just get bitter cola, eat enough of it, and you see that you are going to vomit everything you've eaten there. Okay, and this is not the essence of this video. I've made a video on this bitter cola. You can check it out. The spiritual and physical uh, medical use of bitter cola is on the channel. Okay, the last ingredients I have here is my alligator pepper. Yes, this alligator pepper, this one is the native one. This one is very, very powerful. Okay, it's not commonly found, unlike the other one. Okay, I got this one from my village, so I cherish it so much. 
what you will do this alligator pepper we've talked almost all my videos i mentioned alligator pepper so it's not new on the channel it has its own spiritual uses too you can use this alligator pepper to do so back to sender you can use it for quotation okay if you're embarking on a journey and you're not sure of the journey maybe you're scared of accident and all that just take this thing, these two things alligator pepper and bitter cola keep in your dashboard uh, dashboard if you don't have a car just put it in your pocket or in your handbag you're good to go if they send arrows of accident is going back to them okay then if you don't want to do it that way just take seven seed of this alligator pepper put it in your pocket and go and go your way when you get to your destination endeavor to remove it from your pocket and thank your god almighty for saving you and for bringing you back to your destination safely without any problem and when you're going back you have to take a fresh one don't use the previous one you've used okay and when you're discarding discarding where people will not step on it okay so there are so many spiritual uses of this alligator pepper but i want to teach us how to use it to you know do a particular cleansing okay to remove negativities from your body to bring good vibes remove negative vibes from your body okay what you're going to do just get me this spray case cut it into pieces get me one bitter cola this this big one okay you can see the size i have if you don't have this kind of big one please use three small ones okay they are going to be taking seven seeds of alligator pepper you are going to pound the alligator pepper and the bitter cola together. When you pound it, add it to this uh, precase and boil it. Okay, when you uh, boil it, allow it to cool down to room temperature. Then use it to bath first thing in the morning and last thing at night with a soap, with a sponge. Okay, you are going to be doing this cleansing. If you can do it every day, perfect. If you can do it once in a week, perfect. But make sure you do it at least three times in a month. It serves as protection. It's well to remove negative energies. Okay. If you go for an occasion, maybe a funeral. Okay. Maybe the person died a premature death, and you just you witness the funeral. Please, in order to allow that, in order not uh, for that thing, that premature death to follow you, just do this perfect cleansing. But immediately you return home. Okay. Or you went to a hospital to see a sick person. You know, some you attract some negative energies each time you go to the hospital, but some of us don't know. Okay, just do this cleansing bath to prevent yourself from, you know, carrying some negative energies in from the hospital. Okay, if you go to a place that is a lot of crowd, to prevent yourself from getting whatever that is in that environment that you don't know. Okay, just take this cleansing bath to remove every form of negativities from your system, from your body, from your life. Okay. You can do this bath with your family. You can do it with your friends. Just make sure you do it to protect yourself. Okay? If you're entering a new month or you've come to the end of the new uh, the month, you can use this thing to open your doors for the new month. Okay? Do this with faith and come back with your testimony. Always await your testimony as usual. I've come to the end of today's video. Please do not forget to like. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to join the channel. Share my videos. Like my videos. Drop your comments under the comment section. I will always be there to attend to you. Thank you. I have a blessed week ahead. Bye.